Well, that is uh, just a little bit of what we have to do every morning to get it going. Doesn't take long, uh, especially if you don't have any break, um, broke knives. Um, like I said earlier in a video, the, the grease fittings on the combine are, some of them are every 600 hours, which is a season for us. So um, there's a few on the header you have to do every day, which I did in the reel. And a few on the back wheels of the combine, it's every uh, 50 hours, I think. Other than that, put fuel in it, put def. I was okay on def today. Um, so she is ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna go back down to the down to the gin. Uh, Dad's got a bearing going out on the dryer on one of the pulleys, and uh, he's working on it, taking it off. So I'll go help him get that off, put the new bearing on it um, while we're still waiting on this dew. And then I'll probably come back up here about 10 o'clock and we'll try it. Hopefully I can knock this field out. I think it's only 30 more acres left. And then we'll move back to the valley where we were earlier and uh, finish the day out there and uh, get caught up with the dry beans. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Did anybody notice that I was greasing a case combine with a John Deere grease gun. Can you do that? Look at them, they're just waiting. Just sitting there waiting to pick some cotton. hammer that's broke yeah I've been trying to get you a new one for it's been six months yeah. it's been time. so we got a end of a hammer down in our dryer you trying to knock it through or are you to hook it and pull it up Can you bend it? Oh, I got it. Hallelujah. All right, dang it. Go get your hammer. Uh-uh. <laughs> Alright, one more. 
and it's fixed. Done. Okay, we had a change of plans. Um, the beans where we were, uh, the stems uh, were too green and had some green leaves on it. So it was choking up my concave and anyway, it wasn't doing a good job combining. The beans were actually going out the back of the combine. They couldn't get down to, to the sieves to get into the grain tank. Um, so went and got some chemical and I'm about to go spray the rest of them. Uh, it's only like 30 acres. Spray them with my rogator with some chemical that's going to make them dry down, make the leaves come off, make the stem dry up, and then we can come by them. They ought to be ready Wednesday. And in the meantime, we've moved to the valley and Dad has run the combine right now. And Josh is running the grain cart. We got the 18 wheelers over there. I'm gonna go spray and I'm gonna go back over there and help them. I'll be using um, I'll be spraying. Trying not trying to get y'all out of the sun. Huh? I'll turn this way. I'm going to be putting out Gamoxone at a quart to the acre and then oh, then I'll be putting out LI 700 half gallon or 100 gallons of uh, water. That's the two chemicals I'm going to be using so that's what Brad at Nutrient suggested so that is what we're going to go with. Got the beans sprayed, so they ought to be ready Wednesday. That la the 30 acres that I sprayed. Whoo, what a Friday! It's been a busy one. Uh, now I'm about to head back over to the valley and probably get on the combine for dad and run it the rest of the uh, rest of the evening. But thanks for watching the video. Uh, that's probably going to wrap it up for this week. Uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And uh, hope everybody has a great weekend. Enjoying these nice fall weather. Fall weather. I know I am. But I will see y'all next week. So, see ya.